Whether you plan on traditionally or independently publishing your book, you absolutely need a professional editor. So today I want to talk about why, yes, you need a professional book editor. Editors are experts in identifying what isn't working in a piece and how to make it better. They are going to take your book from something that's good and worth publishing to something that's going to leave a lasting impact on your readers. They have the knowledge and expertise to do this. There are several types of professional editors, though, so you need to understand what these editors do to make sure you hire the right one for your project. This is Ignited Ink Writing, a channel dedicated to helping authors like you transform your writing so it lingers with your readers, because writing that lingers gets remembered and recommended to others. I'm Caitlin Burvey, editor and writer. Let's start with why you need a professional editor. Critique groups can give you excellent feedback but they're not likely to look at your whole book in one sitting, like a developmental editor will, or a beta reader. So they're going to offer perspective on chunks of your writing instead of the whole book. Beta readers do read your book all the way through like a reader and a professional editor, but they are not likely writers or editors themselves, so they're probably not going to offer the kind of feedback that a developmental editor will they're not going to be able to articulate how to fix some things that might not be working. Both of those people also might not make your writing a priority. They have other things going on in their life, and there are going to be some times when they just can't give your writing the time it deserves. When you hire a professional editor, you are their priority, you are their job. So you go to the top of their to-do list, and they're going to spend as much time as they need to to make your writing amazing. Also, people work harder on things when you pay them, and you're paying your editor. Another reason you need a professional editor is you are too close to your writing to see what is there and not what you want to be there. You have thought through your characters, your world, your plot, so you know things about your story that's not actually on the page, and you need a second pair of eyes to help you see what isn't there so you can add it back in. You are especially too close to your work to do a proper copy edit. You know what that word is supposed to be, so you might not see that it's misspelled, or that you used a very similar word that just has a slight spelling difference. You know what it should be, so you read that. That is why you need a professional editor. So let's talk about the main types of professional editors. First are developmental or content editors. Developmental editors focus on the story part of your writing. They're looking at your plot, your characters, your setting, your descriptions, your dialogue, your tone, that sort of a thing. They're making the story itself better. They'll help you make that minor character who's essential to your plot more believable, or adjust your pacing so your story is more of a page turner. And they are the first type of editor you should hire. When you're working with a developmental editor, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. They're going to read your story multiple times in multiple versions, so they're likely going to be the most expensive editor you hire. That's because it takes a long time to do these type of edits. But at the end, they're going to make sure you have a beginning that hooks your readers, a middle that's captivating and constantly building, and an ending that leaves the emotional impact you desire. Sometimes a developmental editor will act as a fact checker. More often than not, you're going to need someone else to do that for you, especially if you're writing historical fiction or hard science fiction. In those cases, you really need to find an expert on your era or the technology you're using. Andy Weir, when he wrote The Martian, had NASA experts beta read his book for them. You can do the same thing. This is one place where beta readers are an excellent resource. Some developmental editors are experts in certain fields, so they can fact check those things. But if you're hiring a general developmental editor, don't expect them to know every nuance of the 1500s. The second type of editor are copy editors. Copy editors are similar to line editors. Some people do a distinction between the two and say line editors do a little bit more of a developmental edit as well as the copy edits. I think they're very similar and I kind of do both when I do my copy edits. Copy edits focus on spelling and grammar. They're what people who don't write think of as editors, but they also help you with your sentence structure and organization. 
they might say, hey, why don't you give this sentence its own paragraph? Because it's really impactful, it's making a good point. I want it to stand out more as a reader. They might also break up really long, complicated sentences that are hard to wade through. And they're going to look at continuity. They're going to make sure your character's eyes are green in chapter 2 and still green in chapter 15. Copy editors are all about the reader experience. They want your writing to disappear so the reader can fully immerse themselves in your story. To do that, they have to make sure your writing is clear and easy to follow. You should hire a copy editor after your developmental editor. There's no point in having a copy edit done when that chapter might get cut or completely rewritten. So in the order, it would be developmental editor first, then copy editor. And your last editor is your proofreader. Proofreaders make the final pass of your story. They are going to look at formatting as well as grammar and spelling issues. Proofreaders do not change sentences like copy editors. They might not be paying as close attention to continuity because they're not making big changes. What they're looking at are your punctuation, your spelling, repeat words, and they're going to double check your headings, your page numbers, and look at your front matter and your back matter. So proofreaders are really just that final pass to make sure everything is clear and as good as it can be. So your three types of editors are developmental or content editor, copy editor, and proofreader. There are some other kind of nuancy editors out there, but these are the three main types. Next, I want to share why a professional editor uses editors for her own writing. When I publish my own pieces, I always have another professional editor look at them because like other writers, I'm too close to be able to do that myself. So I'm not recommending writers use editors just because I am one. I use them and I really believe in them. Authors like Stephen King, Neil Gaiman, Janet Ivanovich, Nora Roberts, they all use professional editors even though they've been writing for years and are really good at their craft. They know they need a second pair of eyes to help them make their stories the best they can be. Remember, when you publish your book, that's sort of your competition. Readers are going to compare you to them or the equivalent of them in your genre. So you need to treat your book like they would. If you are traditionally publishing, your publisher is going to edit it for you. However, if you are independently publishing, you need to do that yourself. You need to spend the time and money to find the right professional editor for you to help you be competitive in the market. And don't you want your story to be the best it can be? Don't you want it to leave that impact and linger with your readers? That's what editors are there for. They're there to help you do this. What's your experience working with professional editors been like? Share it in the comments below. And for more videos on editing, revision, and other aspects of writing, subscribe to Ignited Ink Writing, a channel dedicated to helping authors like you transform your writing so it lingers with your readers. Because writing that lingers gets remembered and recommended to others. I'm Caitlin Burphy, editor and writer. To find out more about me, go to www.ignitedinkwriting.com. There you will also find a revision checklist, which will help you captivate your readers. And now it's your turn to revise your story to make it the best you can on your own, then hire a professional editor to help you ignite your ink.